Good morning, Central. Good morning, happy Thursday. It's a new month. Here we are, happy February. Good morning. Good morning, Central Church. Come on in. It's time to pray. Good morning. Good morning, Central Church. Good morning. If you are joining in, drop in the comments what you are grateful for. Drop in the comments what you are grateful for. Good morning. Good morning. Let's start with the attitude of gratitude as we start this day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Let us start with the attitude of gratitude. Good morning as you're coming in, as you're coming in the room. Let's, let's drop in the comments what we are thankful for to the Lord. What has God done this week that has uh, impacted your life? What has God done this week? Good morning as you're coming in. It's a new month. Maybe what are your goals? What are your prayer points this morning for, for this new month of February? Praise God for the weather. Praise God for uh, all that he's doing. What are you thankful for? Good morning as you're coming on. Yes. Let's praise God for the beautiful weather. Amen. Come on. Good morning. Good morning, Central. Yes, it's a new day. We are praising God. We are going to pray into Psalm 139. We're going to pray into Psalm 139. We're going to start this month with a mindset, knowing that God is with me. I have a perspective that God knows me. I have a perspective that, God, you're going to shape how I see what life throws at me because, Lord, you are with me. You search me. You know me. And we are not alone. We're going to go into this month with a mindset, God is with me. Amen. So Psalm 139 says, you have searched me, Lord, you know me, you know, when I sit, when I rise, you perceive my thoughts from afar. And it says, you discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways before a word is on my tongue. You, Lord, know it completely. We're, we're, we're declaring God is with me. I know God is with me. God knows me. God sees me. And he says, you hem me in and behind before you lay in your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to obtain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there, your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. Psalm 139, Lord, where can I go? And the enemy wants to de deceive us sometimes into thinking that we are alone, that I'm by myself. Nobody cares about me. But I want to remind somebody today as we start this new month with the mindset that God is with me. He intricately knows me. Then skipping down the verse, uh, then he says, if I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day for darkness is a light to you. Come on, God, even in our darkest moments, God is not afraid. Even in our darkest moments, it's not dark to God. And so sometimes it's a, it's a fear that we don't want to allow God into those dark places in our life because God, we feel the shame, we feel the guilt. Lord, this is too much, but you are worth it. You are valuable to the kingdom to know that you are fully known by God. Amen. We are a treasure to God. 
And so for you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Come on, declare. You are the work of God and you are wonderful. You are the work of God and you are wonderful. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, you saw your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Declare that all my days have been ordained for me. They've been written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of the sand. When I wake up, I am still with you. Then he says, skipping down the verse 23, Search me, O God and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting. And so this morning, we're just going to pray into this. We're going to pray, Lord, you know me, you see me, you're with me, and I am wonderfully made. I'm, I'm a wonderful work of God. I don't care what life has thrown at you, your past, your present, your future, your self-esteem challenges, mental health challenges, but you are a wonderful work of God. And so, Father, today in the name of Jesus, we declare, God, we declare, we give February to you. We give this new month to you. We give this day to you. And, Father, we pray right now, God, in Jesus' name, Lord, that you would go before us, God, that you have ordained this month. You have ordained every day written for this day. And we declare, we give it to you. We say, let your kingdom come let your will be done for the, every day of this month. Lord, let us walk in the plan of God. Let us walk in the steps that you have ordained for this day, God, as we live, as we choose to be your light in the dark world, Lord. God, no matter what's happening in the earth, God, but we want to say, Lord, we want to walk in our, our God-given purpose. We want to walk out our God-given assignment. And Lord, we don't want to be distracted. We don't want to be delayed, Lord. So God, we declare that you are with us. Lord, you're with us in the high moments of this month, and you're going to be with us in the low moments of this month. Lord, no matter how dark it may get, Lord, that darkness does not is not a fear to you. You are not afraid of the darkness because you saw it even the darkest night is light to you. So, Lord, we just declare, God, that you are walking in every moment of our life. God, we declare that we are fearfully and wonderfully made in your image. God, and so let creation praise you. Let this body praise you. Let this mind praise you. And Lord, everything, Lord, that is a, out of alignment, every sickness, every spirit of infirmity, God, every challenge that we may have physically, mentally, and emotionally, we declare, we decree and declare that it would line up with the will of God for healing and miracles and breakthrough for us today, God. Everything that the enemy would try to throw out of divine alignment, Lord, we come against it in Jesus' name, Lord, because my body and I was fearfully made and fearfully made in your image, Lord. And you see me and you know me, Lord. And I pray today, God, that you would search us, search our hearts, remove from us anything, anxiety, any evil thing, Lord, that would be offensive. And Lord, let our pathway be a path of everlasting. Let our pathway this month be a path of everlasting. Let, let this month be a month that will bring you glory, honor, and praise, Lord, because Lord, you know us, you're with us, you're for us, we're surrounded by you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you believe that, if you receive that, type amen. Have a blessed and powerful day as you start out this new month.